it is 12.06 and it took me too long to get spooky. So it's 12.06 so I'm already six minutes behind on reading for this 24 hour readathon. I plan to try and stay up for the full 24 hours. No idea how if that's going to work out at, at all. Like, there's a good chance of me just going, oh well, and going to sleep because I, I love sleep. But it seems like a cool idea to try and stay up for full 24 hours, so here I am. So the first book that I want to read is this one, Forest of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Dow. This is an arc that I got back in like June that I won on Goodreads and I still have not read it yet. And this came out like four days ago. So I need to read this first, I would say. So this is what I'm gonna be reading. I'm like a page. Realistically, I don't know how many books I'm gonna be able to read. Like, I'll be pretty impressed if I manage to read one. Two would be even better. It takes me, I would say, if I'm reading in one stint, about six hours to read a 400 page-ish book. So technically, maybe I could read four books in one day, but realistically, I don't think that's very likely. Do you like my boo shirt? I'm trying to be Halloween-ish here, because it's spooky. It's Halloween edition of Read by Zoe-a-thon. Readathon by Zoe. That thing. That's what we're doing today. It is about 2.10 now, so it has been two hours. I had to change my lipstick to a matte one because I ate some ice cream at 1.30 in the morning and it really wreaked havoc on my lipstick. I am about 32 pages into Forest of a Thousand Lanterns. So not very far at all, but while I was eating ice cream, I was at my computer desk. I started the audiobook for A Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue, and I'm about 12 minutes into that. And so far it is very different from A Forest of a Thousand Lanterns. I find that I can only read two books at once if those books are two incredibly different books to each other. Otherwise, I'm really worried that I'm gonna like confuse them in my head. That is where we are at at two in the morning. Not super far into either book, but it's only hour two. There's still like 22 hours to go. I'm feeling reasonably awake so far. Um, I'm really good at staying up all night. It's tomorrow that I'm worried about. I feel like 24 hour reading vlogs seem like more fun and seem a lot quicker when it's other people doing them as opposed to doing one yourself but here we are It is now about four in the morning and yes my lipstick changed again. I feel like this is gonna be a thing. My makeup is going to change every two hours when I check in. Like this is just gonna be a thing all day I guess. I am 76 pages into Forest of a Thousand Lanterns, so not a whole lot of progress. I am a pretty slow reader, I feel like, 
and I haven't made any progress on a gentleman's guide to vice and virtue either, so be pretty impressive if I finish one book because it's already four o'clock. Kind of tired. My hair is also going to get messier and messier as time goes on. Anyway, so it's 4 a.m. so I thought I would check in again. Do that every two hours, I guess. I want to be outside when the sun rises, but I don't know if I'll be able to, particularly because my like swing thing has like cobwebs on it and I don't know if I want to risk dealing with those myself because who knows there could be spiders I, I don't know I don't know I know that in my dad's wood pile there are black widows so you know who knows what could be on the swing set who knows certainly not me I guess I will see you at 6 a.m. <laughs> It is just after 6, 104 pages into Forest of a Thousand Lanterns, and now I am mostly listening to A Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. I'm about an hour and a half into that. I feel like that's more appropriate for laying here in bed, is listening to something and then wait for the sun to come up to read more physical stuff. Also, my eyes are kind of tired and I can't rub them because I put makeup on them, so there's a kitty cat. Anyway, I'm really enjoying A Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. I wasn't sure if I would, but it's just so funny and it's so great and it's a little heart-wrenching too so far between Monty and Percy. I'm like, I guess five chapters in. It's a long audiobook. It's like 10 hours long, which I don't know how long audiobooks usually are because I have never listened to an audiobook in my life. But, you know, maybe I'll start doing that now because this is a pretty darn good audiobook. But it is six in the morning now. I did miss the sunrise. I wanted to be outside for the sunrise, sitting on my porch swing thing didn't get out there in time because it said the sunrise would be at 6 30 but the sun is a rising right now and it's only six so weather channel lied to me that is a marshmallow but i'm going to i think listen to my audiobook more until the sun comes up and then i'll switch back to focusing on this this is really interesting so far i need to make more notes on it because i still want to do a review for it i am a wreck Oof. Are you asleep, little puppy? Hello. <coughs> Meow. I bet you wish I was asleep. I'm sorry, puppy. I feel like maybe this cat should not be where it is right now. Like, just a thought. I don't think that cat is supposed to be up here. Fluffy, what are you doing? Look, my paint stuff's there. And that's obviously books, my nest of books, but what are you doing, Fluffy? Like, what poor life choices did you make? Can you get down? You gonna, you gonna try and get down? Oh, he's, he's gonna do it. He's gonna jump. Where are you gonna jump? Oh my goodness! Fluffy, goodbye. Hello. Come to the dark where I might take a nap. I'm like strongly considering it right now. Like a nap just sounds like the best idea. Like it's so nice in here. It's so nice and cold. I love sleeping when it's cold. But I probably shouldn't. But I think I will maybe take a nap because. I didn't get to take a nap yesterday really, so I am tired. Also, I match my shoes right now. So. Okay, I'm gonna maybe fall asleep for like an hour. Then that's cheating, I feel like, because I wanted to stay up for the full 24. But at the same time, at the same time, I don't know. That sounds like a lot. I'm Definitely not awake at this point. 
I look like an absolute wreck. Um, even though I, I just spent about an hour cleaning myself up and obviously turning on the air conditioner because it is now warm. I had to change shirts because, you know, because my long sleeve shirt is too hot for right now. Like, I don't know how hot it is outside, but I'm gonna guess closer to 90 than it should be. It is about 11.30. I woke up around 10.30, so I got about four hours of sleep. I don't, don't necessarily feel better for it. Brushing my hair, changing my shirt into something cooler, and changing my pants into something cooler, because you should never sleep in jeans. That's a bad idea. Sleeping in jeans is very uncomfortable. So obviously I haven't done any reading for the past five hours. I didn't want to take any naps today. I wanted to stay up for the full 24 hours, but in the end, I couldn't do it. I probably shouldn't have done it because now I'm even more tired and wish I could sleep more, but no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back to reading now. I'm gonna sit at my computer and have some Cocoa Puffs and continue listening to A Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue probably. Emmerich. Oh god, there's a small spider. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I don't like you. I don't like you. Oh. Small spider. Oh god, what's he doing? Oh god. He's moving. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, whoa. Oh. That's a miniature truck. That's freaked me the fuck out. Okay, we're just gonna close this window. Goodbye. Okay. It is now two in the afternoon. I haven't made much progress in Forest of a Thousand Lanterns, but I'm about two and a half hours into A Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue, which I think I'm enjoying more because it's very amusing, whereas Forest of a Thousand Lanterns so far isn't quite as engrossing, I would say, as A Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. I mean, it's good so far, but it's not quite as engrossing. So that is all the update I have. I know I'm super boring. Like, this is why I don't like do vlogs, daily vlogs. That's why I'm not a daily vlogger. This is why I don't like make vlogs every day, all day, because I would love to, but I'm really boring. Like, all I've done today, besides reading, is eat Cocoa Puffs and play on the computer. I sit at my computer a lot right now. I'm sitting in my room though on the bed reading 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 it is just after four and obviously I changed my hair again so that's the most exciting thing I've done but I've been listening to A Gentleman's Guide to Bites and Virtue still I'm about three and a half hours into it haven't made any progress on Forest of a Thousand Lanterns I've just been sitting here listening and I'm listening to it on normal speed so it's gonna take forever great news I apparently own a hat I didn't know I owned any baseball caps. It's a little bent up, but look, it's got a unicorn on it. I hope you can see the unicorn or else I'm gonna feel like an idiot, but it's got a unicorn on it and my initials and a unicorn and, oh, it doesn't look great on me. I don't think you can see it, but it's got a unicorn on it. My dad just found this up in my closet. I didn't know I owned a unicorn baseball cap. I didn't know I owned any baseball caps or any hats at all, but here it is, it's got my initials on written on it and my teacher and my room number so I must have worn it on a field trip or something so 
yeah, I own a hat with a unicorn on it. I'm almost four hours into A Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. It's only five o'clock now. 128 pages into Forest of a Thousand Lanterns, chapter 17. This is an arc, so the pages are probably a little different than the finished copy, but I am liking it so far, but I am joy enjoying um, The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue more, I would say, because it's really cute. Forest of a Thousand Lanterns is not quite as cute. It's a little darker and it's, well, I mean, it's an origin story for the evil queen, so, I mean, it's not a lot of fun. It's, it reminds me of the Young Elites in a way, but not quite as dark as the Young Elites by Marie Lou, because I know that was a pretty dark story, and it made a lot more sense when I read at the end that it was, you know, not the tale of a heroine, but like an anti-heroine. I was like, oh, now I get it. It's supposed to be painful and a dark descent for our main character now i get it your hat now cookie it's cookie's hat now what are you gonna do cookie it's her hat now So it is, it should be, oh, it's 6.20 now. The sun is setting over there somewhere. So I thought I would sit outside as the sun set. I am 180 pages into Forest of a Thousand Lanterns, which I think looks about halfway. Six hours to go, we are 18 hours in, if I am correct in math, which I usually am not. Very, very noisy out here, lots of cars and drills and motorcycles. So now I will go back inside. Hopefully I'll be able to finish this today. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue, but who knows? Who knows? Probably not. I'm going to try and read more of this though. It took me 18 hours to get this far, so probably not going to finish it. I am a slow reader, it turns out. I am even slower than I thought I was. I am just, I'm slow. I'm so Here's a look at dinner. This is pizza. There was another one here. Look at that uncooked pizza. Put cheese and tomato and onion on a frozen pizza and some spices. Really make it interesting. Here's one in progress. Ooh, warm. Very warm. Very, very warm. Isn't it lovely? It's so nice pizza shaped. I think I'm going to take a break from reading while I eat this and watch Sophia Nygaard combine all her eyeshadows on YouTube. Hello. It is 10 o'clock at night. I am about nearly six hours, five hours and 47 minutes into The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. Still only like halfway. I'm on page 180-ish of Forest of a Thousand Lanterns. I know that. No. Goodbye. Okay. Come back. <laughs> I filmed you. I filmed you. 
it too. Yes, you're now on film. Where? Right there. Can't see. Oh, right now? There you are. Most I will maybe get another hour and a half ish more into the Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue and maybe a couple more pages of Forced Up a Thousand Lanterns. I definitely so far feel pretty unaccomplished. This seemed like a better idea. Like in my head until I did it. Oh, that's cold, cold, cold. This does not fit my face. Oof. Happy Halloween! It's about 10.48 so I am now in bed hydrating my face. And I'm going to read or listen to my audiobook for the rest of the readathon. And yes, I will be looking like this. It is midnight. It has been 24 hours. So we're done. Wrap up in the morning because I want to fall asleep, even though there's not that much to wrap up. But I would look better if I wrapped up in the morning because I don't look great right now because I am going to sleep. Yes. Thank you. Good night. It is now the morning of Sunday. Well, it's actually afternoon, so I slept about 12 hours. But I figured I would wrap up my experience for Readathon by Zoe, 24 hour Readathon by Zoe that I did yesterday. I am not quite awake. I put on makeup just just for this. Anyway, I didn't complete any books, which I'm disappointed by, but I did get a lot more reading done than I would in a normal day. So I mean I do have that accomplished. I got about 180 pages into Forest of a Thousand Lanterns. I probably could have finished it if I was more into it. Like, it's a good book, but it's... See, I'm not super big on anti-heroines, and since this is an evil queen origin story, obviously she's a bit of an anti-heroine, so it's kind of hard to root for her. And it's got more, like, court intrigue kind of thing going on, and... or court politics kind of thing going on, and I'm not necessarily super into that. I mean, it's very good so far, and I do like it, but I'm not super into it. And then I got seven hours well, I think six hours and 50 minutes into The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue on audiobook, which I feel like if I had been reading, reading, I could have gotten a lot farther into it because I am really enjoying it, but I do really enjoy the audiobook as well because it's, it's pretty hilarious. I haven't finished either of them, so I completed no books and an amount of pages. Anyway, I really did enjoy doing this. I wish I had slept more, but I did enjoy doing this. I didn't stay up for the full 24 hours. I did take a four hour nap. I did enjoy the attempt. Anyway, that completes this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry that it wasn't more exciting. Hopefully my NaNoWriMo vlogs will be a little more, more interesting and probably a lot shorter than this one. So thank you so much for watching and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Bye bye.